It was a dark and stormy night. Of course, it always seems to be when you're a private eye. I had five shots in me. One was lead, the rest were chocolate milk. My name's Alabaster, Douglas Alabaster. I'm a private eye. Normally in any detective case, this would be the part where a beautiful femme fatale would come in and offer me some crazy case that, under other circumstances, I wouldn't take in a million years. This story ain't like that. Come in. Are you Douglas Alabaster? Name says so on the door. Well, I'm looking for Douglas Alabaster. Well, you've come to the right place. What can I do for you? I'm from the Museum of Natural History, and yesterday a rare Egyptian cat was stolen. It's worth millions. What's so valuable about it? It's made of gold. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I can give much help to you. We'll offer you $40,000. 40000 You got yourself a private eye. All right. The museum had nothing. Whoever pulled this job must have been a professional or someone on the inside. At the top of my list of suspects is Carl. Hmm, he's got the motivation. Janitors don't exactly bring in the big bucks. And he has inside connections. He can get in at night and turn off the security system. I decided to ask him a few questions. All right, Carl. Where were you the night of the 25th? I told you, I was, at, I was at home watching American Idol. Really? You sure about that? You sounded hesitant. Why? Why would the employee of the month for the past four years want to steal the golden cat? Four years, eh? That's an awful long time to be picking up other people's garbage. Maybe you decided you'd had enough. You wanted to move up in the world. I, I told you, I didn't take it. Where's the cat, Carl? I didn't even have my keys that night. Mr. Stevens had them. And, and he let me go home early. Clinton, huh? Ha. While searching for clues, I came upon a note signed by a Mr. Right X. decided to stake out that meeting. Hey. You got the cat? You got the money. Yeah, I got it right here. Oh no! It's you! Yes! You can't go away! We are on the record in case number 08. CR 627, State versus Stevens. Mr. Stevens, you have pled guilty to first degree burglary. You appear in court today for sentencing. Mr. Stevens, you are not required to make any statements at this time, but you are entitled to make a statement if you wish. Mr. Stevens, do you wish to make a statement? No, Your Honor. Mr. Stevens, do you know of any lawful reason why sentencing should not be imposed against you at this time? No, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Stevens, you have pled guilty to the crime of first-degree burglary in violation of KSA 21-3457. This court orders that you be sentenced to not less than five years in the state penitentiary. This court remands you to the custody of the Secretary of Corrections for the state of Kansas, who will carry out the sentence imposed. Mr. Stevens, do you have any questions? No, Your Honor. Very well. Deputy, please take Mr. Stevens into custody. The case was solved. Clinton was behind bars and the golden cat was in its rightful place. My part in this case was over, so I hightailed it back to my office. Oh, Mr. Alabaster, I need your help! I could tell this was going to be one of those cases. 